everyone. Welcome to Online Piano Learning. My name is Sarah and today we are talking about steps, skips, and leaps. This is the first video of my interval series, which introduces you to figuring out the distance between two notes, also known as an interval. The first thing we have to do is to figure out if the notes are beside each other, if they're skipping any notes, and if they are skipping any notes, how many notes are they skipping? This is important not only for your theory knowledge, but also for your sight reading ability. When you're reading music, you have to be able to use your peripheral vision in order to predict what's coming up next, which means looking ahead for the next notes and seeing if you have a step, skip, or a leap ahead. This will help you figure out what notes you have up next, but it will also help you prepare your fingering. So let's get started with steps. Steps are when we have two notes right beside each other. For example, C to D and F to G. Both of these examples are not skipping any notes. They are also not skipping any letter names. They are two letter names right beside each other. Steps are always from line notes to space notes or from space notes to line notes. As you can see, from C to D, we are going from a line note to a space note, and from F to G, we are going from a space note to a line note. There is an exception to this rule with some half steps. For example, you may see two notes that look exactly the same, but one of them has a different accidental. For example, C to C sharp, or B flat to B natural. These examples right here show the note on the staff remains the same, but an accidental is cancelled or a natural note is raised or lowered with an accidental. These are called half steps. The next video will have more details about half steps. Skips are when we have one note in between, specifically one letter. Here we have C to E where we skipped over D, and F to A, where we skipped over G. A skip is always from a line note to another line note, or a space note to another space note. C to E are both line notes, and in order to get from C to E, you had to skip over one space note, which is D. The same thing with F to A. In order to get from one space note to the next space note, we had to skip over G, a line note. Skips are easily seen in the music, especially when both notes are played at the same time. Most chords are made up of multiple skips stacked on top of each other. Here's an example with a C major triad and with an F major triad. You see how we have the same skip on the bottom, but we added a skip on top. All the notes are either line notes or space notes. Finally, let's talk about leaps. Leaps are when we are skipping over more than one note. So it could be two notes or more. Here's an example of a leap, C to F and G to D. Because leaps don't always skip over a specific number of notes, we cannot make an assumption that leaps are all lines to lines or spaces to spaces. This depends on how many notes they're skipping over. If a leap is skipping over an odd number of notes, then it would be a line to a line or a space to a space. If a leap is skipping over an even number of notes, then it will be a line to a space or a space to a line. As you can see in our example, C to F is skipping over an even number of notes. Here are the notes that it's skipping over. We have to skip over D and E, and that's why it's a line to a space. In our second example, G to D, we're skipping over three notes. And because of that, we get a line to a line. Those are just a few simple ways to distinguish between steps, skips, and leaps. I hope that this will help you not only with your theory, but also with your reading. And next time you're reading music, I want you to look for these patterns in the music. I want you to take a look at this score quickly. Is most of it going in stepwise motion, skipping, or leaping? If you said stepwise motion, you are right. You can tell that it's stepwise because the notes are right beside each other, going up or down, and they're aligned to a space or a space to a line. 
If you understood everything in this video and you would like to continue learning intervals, I recommend that you go ahead and watch the next video about whole steps and half steps. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this topic or if you have any theory topics you would like me to cover. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.